Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Western Union and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question I've been getting a lot recently on my other video, and that is how do you change the receiver name in Western Union? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, this is going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to change the receiver name in Western Union? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you have employees in other countries and they prefer that you send the money through Western Union, but they didn't provide their name exactly as it appears on their ID, so you need to make a slight correction. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in the Western Union app. It's a black and yellow app right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to open up my Western Union app now. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Western Union app. This is the home screen here. Now here on the home screen, if you want to update the name for a Western Union transfer online, one thing I want to let you know is you can't change people, so you can only make slight corrections. So for example, example, my name is Anthony, but if you sent money to me and then you put a and something like Antony or something really slight variation, you can make that correction and edit the name for the Western Union transfer. However, you cannot change the name from Anthony into something like John or to Philip. You can only make slight corrections. If you need to completely change the name, then you're going to have to cancel that transaction and then reinitiate the transfer, unfortunately. I'll give you an example as we get a little further. So first off, in order to change the receiver name in Western Union, click on this menu button here on the top right. Once you click there, then you're going to look for this button down here called history. It looks like a little calendar icon. Okay. So once you click there, you will see all of your transactions with Western Union. So if the transaction is green, as you can see this one down here on the bottom, you can't actually edit that name because the transaction's already done. They've already picked up the money. But if it's in yellow, then you should be able to go ahead and edit the name for the Western Union transfer. And what you want to do is next to the MTC number right here, you want to click on more, these three little dots. Once you click there, you will see more information about that transfer through Western Union. And in order to edit the receiver's name, you need to click on this button here, more actions. There's three little dots. Once you click there, you will see this pop up down here at the bottom and you want to click on edit receiver's name. It has a little pencil icon. Okay. So here is where you can go ahead and edit the Western Union receiver's name. So what you're going to do is just click on the name that you want to change. So for example, this one will change the paternal name. So this one is something called Hill. And then what we're going to do is, like I said earlier, you cannot completely change it. So that was Hill. And you want to go ahead and try to change it to something like Robert. The Western Union system will not let you change it because what's going to happen is when you click continue, you're going to get this error right here. We're sorry. We, we only allow you to make minor changes to your receiver's name. Now they don't tell you how many digits or how many letters you're going to be able to change. So you're just going to have to try to change it and update the receiver's name in Western Union. If you get this error and you've only changed a few letters, then you're going to have to cancel that transaction, then reinitiate it. However, if you were able to change your receiver's name in Western Union, it should go through immediately. And then you want to make sure to send them the new MTCN or reference number for Western Union, because that is going to change as well. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to edit or change a receiver's name for a Western Union transfer, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.